Hello everyone and welcome to another FPL video on the channel. In this video, we'll be going through my game week 7 team selection and how I think everyone will do. So let's get straight into the team. As you can see, we have the defence already out there for you. We've got Meslier in net, my favourite player in FPL this year. He's got me a grand total of zero clean sheets and he's got one clean sheet when he was on the bench. Nottingham Forest at home, if he doesn't do well this one, he's probably going to be out the door. Then we have Trippier against West Ham. He done well last game week, got a clean sheet, and I believe he got a couple bonus as well. West Ham's a tougher fixture. Um, I think they'll probably concede against West Ham personally, but I'm hoping for the best. Then we have Saliba against Everton. Benched him last game week against United, it was the right decision. And now he's against an Everton side, which lack a real goal for it really. And I think Arsenal, you know, they're going to want to bounce back after losing to United. And I think they're going to do well. I think they'll probably keep a clean sheet as well, personally. Then we have James against Fulham. Now, Chelsea have been on the ropes. Of course, they just sacked their manager, Thomas Tuchel. He's out the door. And um, how's that really going to affect them? I'm not sure. Will they have a bounce back? Will they even have a new manager yet before the game comes in? It's looking like Potter's going to be the replacement, but... It's not been confirmed at all. But Fulham is not an easy fixture. I think Fulham will probably score against Chelsea. Mitrovic seems to be fixture-proof at the minute. And uh, he's someone that we should all really be looking to try and get in our sides, Mitro. But uh, yeah, I think James could be dangerous on the attack. Then we have Trent against Wolves. Now this could be one of his last games in the side. This Liverpool side just doesn't look right this season. Trent's not really done much at all, has he? Of course, he had that one banging game week against Bournemouth where he scored and got a clean sheet and whatnot. But apart from that, not got a clean sheet and he's not got an assist or anything like that. So, and also as well, is his minutes are now a risk as he came off in the 59th minute last game week. Maybe that was just for Champions League, but anyway. Uh, yeah, not really sure on Trent and at seven and a half million He could be on his way out next game week if he doesn't perform this one So now we're looking at the midfield and we have Salah against Wolves similar to Trent not happy with the way he's performing Especially at his price tag 13 million and he's not doing too much Not happy with the way Liverpool performing. They're not doing very well and Salah could be on his way out for me I'm gonna give him this game against Wolves, but if he doesn't do well in this one, they've got a tough fixture run coming up He'll be out the door for me, I think. Then we have Pascal Gross against Bournemouth. Bournemouth defensively, one of the worst in the league at the minute. And, you know, Brighton look very good. They could be losing Potter, though, which will be a big miss for them. But, you know, Gross is on good form at the minute. I expect him to continue that. Then we have Martinelli against Everton. Great fixture, good form. Even scored against United. It was disallowed. But, you know, it just shows that, you know, he's just in great form at the minute. So... Happy with Martinelli and at his price, he's not going to be leaving my side anytime soon. And then in attack, we have Ivan Tony against Southampton. Of course, got a hat-trick last week. Big up, Ivan. Uh, hopefully, you can replicate that again in this game week against Southampton, which is a decent fixture for Brentford, to be fair. Then we have Haaland against Tottenham. Tougher fixture, but Man City probably do beat them anyway. Probably score a couple goals. And most likely Haaland will be involved. He is my vice captain. I am tempted to captain him. It's between him and Jesus. But as you can see, I've gone with Gabriel Jesus because he's got the fixture against Everton at home. I think this is a great fixture for Arsenal. And I think they're going to put a few goals past past an Everton side, which I just don't really rate. To be fair, they're getting more points than I thought they would. But I still don't think they're that good. And I think Arsenal, of course, top of the league. They want to continue that run. And I think they're going to do well this game week. So I've gone currently on Jesus, but it could potentially switch to Haaland before the deadline. Then in the bench, we have Ward against Villa. Decent fixture, but Leicester just completely suck. Um, defensively, anyway. Then we have Andreas against Chelsea. Uh, Zaha against United and Henry against Southampton. So I've made no transfers this game week. I have been tempted to do so. I was thinking about Zaha to maybe a Rashford, Meslier to Pope, even bringing in Dallo in for Henry. But I've decided to bank the transfer for next week. And um, yeah, then we'll make a play of maybe like two to three transfers next week. 
switching up the side of it maybe with the Liverpool ads in the bin but anyway that's been a roundup of my FPL game week 7 team what do you think I think it's going to do alright personally but again it depends on these Liverpool ads can they turn up but anyway if you guys need any help with your FPL teams need any advice or anything like that please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will reply with the best of my knowledge and uh, hopefully I can get you some points but uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video please feel free to drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time cheers guys